Hello everyone, NVDK ESP32 wireless configuration Wi-Fi smart config smartly configured that ESP32 to get connected with the access point with the smartphone applications ESP touch basically why we need a smart config earlier we in earlier demo we build an wireless station with uh, static access point configuration something like uh, whether it is the SSID and its password and uh, we can able to build an image and you could able to connect with that uh, access point basically with the station but in the real time it cannot be like that it can be installed anywhere it can be operates with any access point it has to be configured in uh, in a smart way so that uh, it can able to communicate with the access point over there and uh, why we need that smart config because in real time the iot device cannot be configured by using its it does not have any lcd it does not have any key, uh, keyboard or keypad or touch screen to configure its wireless access point basically for that we can use that uh, some smartphone and uh, we can do that smartly configured that uh, the ESP32 IoT device so that it can communicate with the access point and get that internet access basically here with the architecture of the SS uh, the smart configuration basically we have a mobile phone which has that SSID and password we shall confirm it it was with that SSID and password we could able to connect with that uh, our wireless access point once it connected we can start something like uh, the scanning packets over the wireless the ESP32 IoT will detect that Will, it will be in the sniffing mode and it will receive that packet and get that SSID and uh, password from the mobile phone ESP touch application and uh, it, it uses that um, the SSID and password and it makes that connections with the virtual access point and uh, we uh, the, now that uh, IoT device got ready with the internet to communicate, uh, communicate with that uh, cloud or gateways or anything that it can able to communicate basically here the some the components involved in this android or iphone with the esp touch application and uh, we have esp32 to demand nvdk esp32 to demonstrate and we can have that wireless success point i am having that wireless success point nevi and uh, nevi123 and i can have it something start with that examples here I'm going to copy this example cp rf esp idf and then examples wi-fi then smart config to local then i'm going to build make menu config i'm going to just save as it is then i'm going to build this smart config application The config, the building will take uh, one or two minutes. Maybe we shall wait. Yes, we got come get we got get compiled and we got created with the bootloader and then smart config dot bin and we have uh, single app dot bin. All those things we got created. Maybe we have to flash this now. Here I am going to connect with that uh, JTAG debugger and then I am going to connect with the GDB and target remote colon 3333 33 so that I got connected and I am going to reset yes now I am going to program ESP32 with that bootloader.bin
over here and I'm go it should be on thousand I'm going to verify once it's programmed its verification started it's verified successfully and I'm going to do program ESP32 and I'm going to do with that smart config dot bin at the location 0 cross 1 double zero double zero and then I will verify that its verification started Yes, I now I'm going to flash single app dot bin into this here zero cross eight thousand and I will verify this. Yes now it got installed i'm going to quit the session over here and i will unplug and i'm going to connect with that minicom so that we will know that what is happening inside the board i'm going to do with that cp 32 d message I'm getting yeah clear pseudo mini com this will give that our console outputs I'm going to power on this one and it's smart config started in the station mode and it's waiting for finding the channel maybe I have to play with that uh, uh, smartphone yes I am going to open that ESP touch application and uh, over here and I need to first enable the Wi-Fi in my phone I am going to enable the Wi-Fi in my phone and then I got connected with my access point now Yes, now I am going to open my uh, ESP touch application over here and I am going to enter the password N -E -V -E -E -E. and then 1, 2, 3 then I can do that confirm so that it's getting that SSID, SSID password and uh, it got that Nevi and uh, Nevi123 and now we got connected with that uh, access point Nevi using the password Nevi123 and it got assigned with that IP station IP 1.3 the net mask and gateway is 1.1 basically this is done it's something like uh, smartly configure that uh, internet of things wireless configuration so that you can we can able to install our installation easier to the user this makes this we can able to integrate into our application and we can make different kind of interesting application in order to learn more application about iot please visit us or you can email me at uh, nvhariharan at nevitech.com for more updates subscribe the youtube channel thank you for watching have a nice day bye